So we're down here. Uh, we are at, uh, it is the night before the election. We are down here in Philadelphia, Kamala Harris, hosting a rally on the parkway in front of the art museum where she has Oprah Winfrey, Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift was supposed to show up but she decided to go to Grand Rapids, Michigan to go to the Donald Trump rally. This guy's, this guy's cutting in line. Cut. Yo, if you're voting for Kamala, you're a goat. If you're voting for Donald, you're a boat. The worst of all time. What's your biggest issue with Donald Trump? Why don't you like him? My biggest issue with Donald Trump is that he's a fraud. Why? Because Donald Trump constantly advocates for the worst possible things. But what about like the stereotype that like people have been given like got white guys for like Harris? They're saying they're a bunch of bitch ass white pussies. Boys for Harris. Honestly, even if I am a bitch ass pussy, I'm a white boy for Harris. All my guys here were all white boys for Harris. Yeah, I do. I, white boy for Kamala. All right. You guys? Yeah, for sure. sure yeah, Kamala. Yeah. Go birds! I'd say. So yeah, come all up for, uh, for common sense. So how do you feel about Taylor Swift no longer coming tonight? Uh, I'm honestly not a Taylor Swift fan, but you know, more power to these people. Yeah, she de she just decided to change, and now she's going to Grand Rapids, Michigan, to perform at the Trump rally. Fair enough. Crazy. Uh, it's it's she. I think she played it smart. Personally, she waited until like three weeks before the election, when the first debate uh, between Trump and you know herself. To say, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to be for, I'm going to be for Harris. Yeah. I think, I think she wait, she waited until she did all of her major legs of the tour to say, oh, I'm for Harris now. Uh, we're not going back. Our bodies, our choice, our vote is our voice. It's time for women to run the world. We've been sitting back watching men run this world for too long. Yes. Yeah, men have had a long run. It's like a few thousand years. Maybe it's time. Is your goal to flip this election and send a message to the mainstream and the DNC? No, my goal is to get Vice President Harris to do the right thing. Again, I mean, the vast majority of Democrats say that they're anti-genocide. All, all people like me are asking for is to say that I will impose an arms embargo as president. We're not asking for to fund the police. We're not asking, we're not asking for any of that. We're ask, there's a lot of stuff we could ask for, we should be asking for. We're not even asking for that. We're asking for an arms embargo on Israel if you want to be elected. Did you ever read Moby Dick? About the, the, the Captain Ahab and the whale? Yeah. Well, you know, the whale is white. And you got to think about that. Like, what does that represent? It represents a kind of evil that we don't really imagine. And Trump really taps into that in people. Let's face it. I mean, you, all you have to listen to him is for two seconds. He's like an Archie Bunker bigot. I don't know. The author is going with the racial thing with the white whale. There are blue whales, but um. Why don't you like Donald Trump? Because he's a fucking fascist. He's a fucking asshole for, with woman. He don't care about shit. He only care about himself. Like that little orange bitch ass, gonna destroy this country if he wins. Trump. Trump. Nah, nah. I'm Trump. Not. Trump. Did you think of that yourself? No, I I heard it somewhere. Do you think tampons should be in men's bathroom? Listen, that's for only for for people like 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 um, trans. How do you feel about trans athletes? Like I'm not, playing in like you know men's sport, women's sports. Listen, I don't even care like what they do. That's their life. That's not an issue for the country. Like if Trust LeBron me. James put a wig on and was like, I want to join the WNBA. How would you feel about that? I don't give a fuck. He can do whatever he wants. The Republicans they don't got no policies. They don't got nothing, so they want to jump into trans, engage stuff. If he wins, you fuck. All you women are going to be fucked if he wins. How so? Because they're not going to have no rights. No rights at all. They're going to take away your voting rights, Project 2025, and saying, like, watch. So you don't think women will be allowed to vote anymore? Well, come on, man. You, as a union guy, this guy is gonna get rid of fucking unions and over time, he's gonna put some trick with Project 2025. Do you think he's gonna get rid of the Philadelphia Union? Everything, Soccer come team? on, he got Elon Musk. Elon Musk, he's an asshole. He just wants to buy everybody's vote. He's a pretty smart guy though. We know best, he's gonna fuck up, we know best. Proud that he, he uh, fired everyone. Is that being a proud employer? Absolutely not. Well, if they're that assholes. Is not, that is not a good boss. He, if you cry, he wants to fire you. Is that a good boss? Absolutely not. He I wants to put people on Mars. Elon Musk. He, he, he's a, uh, he, you know, he, he's a, uh, he, it was illegal when he came here. 
Where are you from, man? Dominican Republic. Okay. okay. Yeah, but I'm fr I'm an American citizen, of course. Okay. All right. Don't play those tricks on me. No. Would you deport Elon Musk? I will deport his ass because he's working with her Russia. Elon Musk is, wor is working with Russia. Like, yeah, come on, come on. We're anti-Putin, anti-Trump, anti-Netanyahu. So what's your biggest uh, biggest voting issue? Yeah, getting rid of Trump. Kamala Harris, um, uh, she's, Ooh, she's, 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 she's smart. Um, she's a decent person. Uh, she's a woman. I think, I think a woman for the world is going to be- Wait, she's a woman? Oh, hello there. I was just thinking about who I'm going to vote for. So we're here at the Kamala rally. There's Lady Gaga. There's Oprah. Taylor Swift was supposed to be here, but she didn't show. I don't know. Not popular right now. But anyway, we're talking to people about all the hot topic issues. We're talking about immigration, abortion, the border, inflation, the nation. So tune in. A lot of vaccinations are in this crowd. You could hear the vengeful spirits of millions of aborted fetuses snuffed out before they could ever draw their first breath. And it's a contentious issue. Some say, it says, some say it's a woman's choice. Others say, hey, there's a line. But we're getting opinions from everyone here. We're down here with Saudi Arabians for Kamala Harris. Sir, are you selling hot chocolate? Fuck. All right, let's keep it moving. Oh, I was at 100 before, but I was getting... You didn't get any bites? Unfortunately. All right. What's your uh, expectation for tomorrow? Uh, I'm hoping Kamala sweeps. Uh, you think it's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Our bodies, our choice. Our bodies, our choice. Our bodies, our choice. Freedom. What's that? Where did I get my haircut? Philadelphia. I know it's no looking way. looking fresh, bro. Right? Did you play basketball? No, volleyball. Okay, so you can jump. Yeah, that's all I meant to. I got you. Yeah. Jump. Let's see your hub. I, I, I can't jump. Yeah. I got bad knees, man. I tore no, both my ACLs. Not together, together. All right, we'll jump. Yeah. You ready? One, two, two three. three. Yeah, see, no, he went, he went much higher. I, told, I, can't, I can't jump. I got no ups. Okay, okay. I'm white, bro. I can't jump. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, that's a sick mustache. Yeah. Did you grow it yourself? Guys, listen. Now everything is serious, okay? And we don't care about anything here. We just come, have fun, bye bye. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He went from McDonald's to being a trash man. Donald Trump sending all these trash trucks down to the Kamala Harris rally. Unre tax and unrealized capital gains, or whatever other tax on billionaires we can get through Congress. Okay, okay. So I take it not a fan of Elon Musk. Uh, he's the first one we're going to tax. Going to tax him? I mean, yeah, I guess with the world's richest guy, everyone's coming for you. So, is uh, what's your favorite thing about Kamala? Is it the tax policy? Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Yeah. So what are your, what are your thoughts on Donald Trump? Donald Trump is uh, has been serving the billionaires his whole career. And that's what he did in his first term and that's what he'll do in another term if we're so mistaken as to give him one. He's not even just serving the billion he is like if he is one if we believe him. He's not a real billionaire. He's a fake. Billionaire. What what do you estimate his net worth at? I don't know. And we need a voice so we need to vote for Kamala because She's going to make a change, and this is going to make history. We need a female president to show the men how it's done. Kamala, she's been doing it the hard way, and she still kept her head high. That's how you know women is strong. She built those stairs, and she climbed them. And if she fell down the stairs on her way up them, she's she going to... She got right back up. Exactly. She's going to... Well, let's hope that she doesn't fall down any stairs. Like, Trump, he has done nothing positive for us, for real. Like... Why do we need, like, when he said abortions, he's going to ban abortions. What do you mean? It's our body. We get to decide what we want to do with our bodies, and it's our choice, like she, like we said. Trump tried to, like, hit that back. He said, look, you know, I'm just trying to be a little bit in the middle. She wants just all abortion all the time, no matter what. Do you support any restriction or just my body, my choice all the way? My body is my choice. 